This video covers a concentric constraint. To use this feature, it would be helpful to have a basic understanding of 2D sketching and sketch constraints. A familiarity with the creation of extruded features in a Libre design would also come in handy when using this feature with 3D geometry. Whole centers often need to be aligned to share the same center point. The concentric constraint aligns the centers of circles and or arcs with the same sketch or between separate sketches. The concentric constraint is also used to align sketch circles and arcs with pre-existing 3D cylindrical features. The steps and the results are the same as when aligning with sketch features. Here's an example of a common real-world use for the concentric constraint. A section of tubing has inner and outer diameters. For a consistent wall thickness, both diameters must share the same center point. Two circles are sketched and dimensioned as needed. One represents the OD, the other the ID. The concentric constraint is then utilized to make these circles concentric to each other. The concentric constraint symbol will now remain with these two circles until either the constraint is removed or one of the circles is deleted. When one circle moves, the other follows because they are now locked together at a common center point by the concentric constraint. Once these sketch circles are concentric, they are extruded together to form a length of tubing. Here's another example of a common real-world use for the concentric constraint. In this case, we need to form a hole with a flat in this gear to mate with a shaft with the same profile. A circle is sketched on the face of the gear to make a raised boss on the gear. The circle is dimensioned and the concentric constraint is used to center the circle. With the concentric constraint applied, the circle cannot be moved off-center. The boss is now extruded. A hole needs to be created with a flat to match a mating shaft, so a semicircle is created on the boss face, representing the hole profile. The semicircle is centered on the face of the boss with a concentric constraint. This semicircle is perfectly centered and will remain as long as the constraint is in place. Now the extrude cut tool is used to punch the hole through the body of the gear. This video explained and demonstrated the use of the concentric constraint. This constraint is used to align the centers of circles and or arcs to each other. The concentric constraint can be used within the same sketch, between separate sketches, or it can be used with pre-existing geometry.